Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Bells, and today we are back in the hardcore world. Now, I may be somewhere you don't actually recognize, but we did come here on stream once, and we are just past the little spruce village that I found live on stream, which is really close to our ender portal. Now, I wanted to build a little something to commemorate killing the ender dragon, and in the process, I wanted to transform this village and the plan is, oh I've just run out of rockets, so the plan is to fill this whole area here with villages and houses and have a big wall coming along here and then we're going to have a castle sitting just up here which is going to hold the dragon egg and have a dragon skin rug inside of it. So I wanted to get the castle planned out and then I'm going to live stream and collect all of the resources that we need to build ourselves this castle. So I was going to go resource gathering, but then I remembered we have this whole cart full of stone on cobblestone. It is mainly stone, so we may need to place some of it down and then break it with our for fortune pick to get cobblestone, just so we can add in a little bit of texturing. But also, the um, in the last episode, we built up a lumbering farm. A lumbering farm? Is that what they're called? Like a log chopping yard? A lumber yard, I guess. And um, yeah, the trees finally grew. Now it's it's all quite dense, and I wasn't sure if I'd like these trees up here, especially because they spread pods all everywhere, and I absolutely hate it. So in this episode, we are going to need to change these out at some point, and then replace all of this with normal grass, which is going to be just a bit of a pain. But there we go. We actually got a diamond shovel that's not silk touch from end busting in the last stream where we fought the ender dragon. Also, speaking of end busting, I would like to do a little bit more of that today to get some more shulkers. And I left a couple of things in the end that we need to check out, but for now, let's get building. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick tour because you only saw me do the bottom floor of the interior in that time lapse, but there is still some things we need to do down there. And uh, I want your help with this because, well, you know what, let me just show you. So if we go in, we've got this really nice entrance hall with a grand staircase and very often in like castles or like big manor houses, you'll see big paintings on, along the stairs. So we've got that. Some nice little seeds. This is a B-dubs trick. Thank you very much. Also, another B-dubs trick. I've got a lot of B-dubs stuff in this castle because I love his castles. They're absolutely fantastic. And this interior is very inspired by him. But also, in Game of Thrones, so I'm a big Game of Thrones watcher, you've got these side things that everybody stands on to watch whatever's happening in the throne room. So if somebody comes in for a trial, people will stand up here and watch that. So I've got these on either side and the symmetricalness of the build helps direct the eye right to the end. And also look, the sun sets in that window. I didn't even intend it, that's absolutely perfect. But I've left it kind of dark because it adds to the sort of vibe of the room. It's quite moody and quite gothic. But I wanted your guys' help because I don't, ooh, oops. I don't know which throne design I prefer. This one. I really am leaning towards this one just because it's a bit lighter and sort of stands out more. 
the next thing I wanted to do down here was display some mob heads that I was pretty proud of killing. So a Ravager, the Wither, and then a Piglin, just because, well, I didn't really know what else to put. So this is like a head mount, like some people have. And somewhere in the castle, I do want to have maybe a deer head mount. So maybe like here, that could be quite cool. Or, I don't know, somewhere that's a little bit better. But, um... This is the dining room downstairs. We've got some nice little side tables, some suits of armor, and then just some plates and cups. If you'll follow me upstairs, I completely redid the interior up here. So I didn't show it in the time lapse, but I did it once and then I hated it, so I completely destroyed it. We've got a nice little living space in here, and then here is the dragon rug I was on about with the grandfather clock. Um, and then if we go around the corner, we have the king's bedroom with a lovely king size bed and then an actual bed underneath so we can use it. It's a nice four poster with a painting and a little lamp over there. And then if we come in here, this is where the king would probably give his speeches to his people down below and they'd all gather down here or he can just look over his kingdom whenever we get that in. But in here, it does need a little bit of something else. I don't really know what's gonna go in here, probably a carpet. But I think now it's time to move on to the next thing. The next thing I wanted to do was actually to go to the end and get a couple of spare elytra because we actually saw two more end ships on the live stream where we went end busting and I didn't actually raid them so I wanted to get a couple more shulker boxes just you know in case we need them and also I I did swim please thank you um I did a little bit of end busting on the stream where we built the castle just to get some things to move across and I think on that stream we got about eight shulker boxes, but apart from that we didn't get any more. So I want to get loads and loads of shulker shells so that when we like need them they're just ready and available. And also if our elytra ever breaks then we'll have an elytra. So it's about to get a little bit framey because I just turned my render distance to 64 and I'm trying really hard not to look endermen in the eye. But we should see some end cities popping up around here. There's one. I'm not sure if that one has a ship over there. So there's one with an end ship just over there. There's another end, well, sort of small end city over there. Then another small one there. And then we've got a big one over there, but I can't see a ship. Oh, wow, that those shulker shells are coming out of nowhere. Okay, so I'm going to go raid these, and I guess we'll just time-lapse it and see what we get. Okay, so I was actually going to time-lapse the whole end busting thing, but it was so boring, so I just figured, hey, I'm going to just show you what we got. In here, we've got a box full of armor and tools that we got. Now, it's not actually that much, but in here, we've got four elytras and 33 diamonds and more shulker shells than we will ever need, and also a couple of dragon heads and saddles that I also picked up. Now, I actually flew past quite a few end cities and just didn't bother looting them because I was only trying to find the ships and I got to a point where I had so many shulker shells, I was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna, ju I'm gonna just leave it. So, um, we can always get embossing again if we need any more, but I think, I think we're alright for now. So, something important quite happened, which I realised I should probably tell you guys because I've completely forgotten. Look how many totems I'm dying I got. So I, there was a pillager party like around here and I shot the, one of the guys with the banners and then I went home forgetting I had the bad omen effect and it, then it started a raid and there were so many evokers that I was able to get what, uh, is that, that's eight totems of undying which is absolutely crazy so from that one raid I actually got more totems of undying than we got from our uh, raid farm. Oh, hello. Are you my dog? No. Okay. Few moments later. I was dumb. There was an error in my maths. About five of those totems were from the raid farm. They were just already in the shulker box. Oops. But um, here are the shulker boxes that we got whilst we were on stream. Now that is that is quite a lot of shulker boxes. Also, at some point I am seriously going to need a new storage room. I think it's quite important that we get these elytra enchanted because otherwise they're probably just going to break almost immediately. So let's go have a quick little word with our librarian villagers. Um, I think he just stole my emeralds. Wow, that used way more levels than I thought, but now we have four fully enchanted elytra, which are all of the same as this one, apart from that's got my chest plate attached to it. So, I was just like wandering around in here, and I realized how outdated this map was. It doesn't even have the Lord's Manor on it. 
or the big path going around there, the sugar cane farm or the creeper farm. So I think it needs updating. But I want to get rid of this ugly monstrosity over here. Get rid of these trees before the episode ends. And we don't have time to do both. So let's quickly get rid of these. Now that that's sorted, we can fly over here and get rid of this sign that's been here for like two and uh, uh, two episodes since we last did it and it was the lumberjack sign i'm just gonna pop it back there yeah it was the lumberjack and tree farm sign see that looks so much better the jungle tree it doesn't look as bad it's really weird doing the outro over here i normally do it on the path next to the project board but uh thank you all so much for watching today's episode i really enjoyed it i hope you did we got a lot done on the castle that's one whole building of it done and might I say, it's probably the best Minecraft interior I have ever done. I'm so happy with it. And thank you to those of you who joined the stream where we actually built the interior. But uh, I shall catch all you dudes in the next video. And if you liked it, don't forget to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos by me, don't forget to subscribe and check out the hardcore playlist. But uh, that's it from me now. Bye-bye.